Hello everybody, welcome back once again to the Octopath Traveler 2 walkthrough. Uh, just making my way through Agnea's chapters, and we're on to chapter 4 here. Uh, it says, Agnea makes her way to the town of Sai, a place her mother once performed. She enters the town in search of someone who might remember her mother. So this is Sai, the town where Mama performed. Giselle was here not long ago, so perhaps someone knows something. Excuse me. Is something the matter, miss? Would you happen to know of a dancer who was here about 20 years ago? Oh my, 20 years is quite a long time. This place has changed so much since then. Perhaps you should check the old quarters in the east. I will. Thank you. Oh my. Is that... looks just like the moon step could this statue be out of my way old lady You're old huh? take this and that and one of these That ought to do it. Lila, what are you doing? We've had just about enough of your mischief. And to make matters worse, you've defiled Mother's statue. I think she looks better this way. That statue is a symbol of our hope. Like that matters in this town. We have no money, no good food, nothing. There's no hope for us here. You brat. This gloom doesn't suit a desert town at all. But I know a way to brighten up the place. What are you doing? Watch me shine! I don't know what that was, but I think you'd best be on your way. And clean up that statue, Lila. What? What was that just now? You were spinning around so much it made me dizzy. It was a dance. Was it your first time seeing one? Uh, dance? Lila! Darn! Gramps found me! Oh, that girl sure can run. She'll come home when she's hungry. More importantly, that was a beautiful dance, young lady. Th thank you. It seems the other townsfolk didn't quite agree, though. Nonsense. You were a sight to behold. You must be tired from your journey. You're free to rest your feet at our house, Miss, uh... Please, call me Agnea. But 
Are you sure? We certainly are, Agnia. In fact, we insist. After all, something about you feels... familiar. Okay, got some banter here. Let's take a look. Buy some candy with this, son. The name is Particio. Here, take this. Hey, Particio, why do you give a coin to everyone you meet? It's a mercantile investment. I want folks to remember my face. <laughs> but isn't it a lot of money? Hey, I don't mind. The devil called poverty taught me the weight of a single leaf. So I'm happy to lighten the burden of others, even if just a little. That's wonderful. I'm sure you've made lots of people smile that way. You're a real shining star, Particio. <laughs> Map to float off and join him in the big blue with how light my coin purse is. Even your coin purse is a star. <laughs> okay, let's uh, let's head on over here. Thank you. Were you good boys and girls while we were out? Who are all these children? They're young ones from all over town. We watch over them when their parents can't. There aren't many jobs to be had here, so their parents leave in search of work. Is she a new friend? That's amazing! <laughs> She's a traveling dancer. You're all too young to know, but another dancer visited this very town 20 years ago. She was a kind-hearted woman named Kwani. was my mother oh it's no wonder you felt familiar you look just like her <sighs> it makes me happy to hear that you remember her as if we could forget Kawani was only passing through yet gave from her own pockets to help us she took care of us like she was our own mother. The townsfolk built a statue of her so that they'd never forget the hope she gave us. So that statue is of my mother. I can't tell you how happy that makes me. She met a little orphan girl while she was here. And she taught her how to dance. That little girl never stopped dancing. And now, she's famous for it. A famous dancer? Pardon me. I thought I told you to leave. You again? No matter how many times you come around, our answer won't change. This town is all we have left. This is our home. I beg you to reconsider. I've seen her before. We paid a lot of money for this land. Which makes you no more than trespassers. My liege was gracious enough to give you time to leave. But no longer. I will force you out if I must. Stop! I won't let you lay a finger on my parents. Lila! Get 
get lost, you big oaf. Don't you have someone else to bully? I can't imagine what you'd want with a garbage heap like this. <laughs> Let the others know there will be no mercy next time. You've been warned. Thank you, Lila. <clears throat> Lila, didn't I tell you already? There's no hope for us here. Lila! Did she run away again? At a time like this? Did you spoil her too much, Platt? Lila was an orphan. She was abandoned when she was little, so we took her in and raised her as our own. But her heart's been closed off ever since, and all she ever does is make mischief around town. She always says that there's no hope here. I wish we knew how to make her happy. <laughs> I have to do something. I have to find Lila. Okay, banter time. Oh, your mother must have been an incredible woman, Agnea. Seems she was adored by people far and wide. Yeah, she really was amazing. Mention that your father is a tailor of few words. How is it that he won your mother's heart? Everyone always looks so surprised when I say this, but it was actually Mama who proposed to Papa. Oh, <laughs> she did? My mother fell in love the first time she put on one of his dresses. She adored everything about it, from the design to the way it felt, even the way he sewed it. She realized that the one who made it was thinking of the wearer and their happiness. Mama decided that she wanted to wear his clothes for the rest of her life. All that after slipping on just one dress. Yeah, usually it works in the in the opposite way, right? It's when you slip off the dress. <laughs> I had to. Sorry, uh, I see. She sounds a bit like a very passionate woman. Jeez. She laughed and said it wasn't love at first sight, but love at first wear. It sounds like their meeting was the work of fate. Does it? Is that what that sounds like? Couldn't agree more. Okay. All right, I'll go with it. Sure. Yep. Okay, let's head back up to this little troublemaker up here. What am I doing? Soon this town will be nothing but a memory. And a bad one at that. There was never anything fun to do here. Ugh. Fun. So that was a dance. <laughs> at you idiot <laughs> I was just admiring your moves I'm happy to see you've taken a liking to dance N no I haven't I can teach you if you like what do you say Lila Wh what your shoes they're all tattered you can't dance in those which means I'll just have to find you a new pair. Hey! I didn't even agree to dance with you! Never
Never you worry about that. Just wait here, okay? What's up with that lady? Okay, more banter. Let's do it. La 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 la. Why are you singing? It happens when I'm in a real good mood. I don't understand. Then why don't we do it together? No, thank you. <laughs> Alright, I don't mind singing on my own. I must be on my way, but goodbye I shall not say. <laughs> okay, I, yeah, no, we're not going to do any more singing. Uh, for you, I will meet again someday. Oh, I saw your foot moving to the beat. They did not? <laughs> Alright. Please take these shoes to that little girl. These are just perfect. Can't wait to show Layla. Give Layla the cute shoes. Alright, let's do that. She's up here. They fit perfectly! Thank goodness. I guess they do. Now then, let's begin. Just follow me. Your turn. Fine. There's no need to get so excited. Are you crazy? There's no way I can do something like that. This is called the moon step. It's an advanced move, but... I know you can do it, Lila. I get it now. You just want to laugh at me, don't you? Of course not. When I saw your moves, I knew. You've got the makings of a dancer, Lila. I do? But when you start, you don't need to worry about doing it well. You just need to have fun. That's the most important part. Fun. <laughs> Come on. Let's give it another try. It's wonderfully, Lila. <sighs> That's the first time anyone's ever praised me so much. <sighs> Thank you, Lila. Huh? What are you thanking me for? It made me happy to see you have fun. D don't be ridiculous. Wouldn't you be happier if I could do the moon step? Huh? When I watched you dance, all the bad thoughts in my head disappeared. And my heart felt warm. <laughs> What's wrong with me? Lila. What do you say we do it one more time, Lila? You 
worked hard. Harder than anyone. Don't you, Naya? Thank you, Miss Kalani. After I saw you dance, I decided someday I'm going to be a star. That was a beautiful dance, Lila. It reminded me of Dolcinea. Dolcinea? You mean the little orphan girl that my mother taught was? That's right. Her name was Dolcinea. She used to practice here all night with your mother. I'm happy you found yourself a good teacher, Lila. Uh. Dolcinea said she was going to be a star, and now she is. But not everyone here is happy about that. After all, when it came to the townsfolk, that girl... Come quickly! The town's in trouble! What? I'll go check it out. I'm going with you. Okay, let's find the commotion. Source of the commotion. What do you think you're doing? I told you there would be no mercy next time, didn't I? Stop this madness! This town is our... Janaya? Greetings, you poor little slum dwellers. Allow me to free you from your filth. I don't care if you're a star, the moon, or the whole damn sky. You need to come back down to Earth and remember where you came from. Unfortunately for you, my memory just isn't what it used to be. Now go, Veronica. I will be watching the show from atop the hill. Understood. Why is this happening? No. I can worry about the wise after I put an end to this. Let me help. I've got to teach these bullies a lesson. I can tell how much you care for everyone, Lila. But you have to leave this to me. You get the other kids to safety, you hear? But Nia... Okay, leave it to me. Good luck, Agnia. I won't let you down. Okay, let's go to Dolce Thank you kindly. What's this? 
Hmm. Yeah, I guess I could have bribed him instead, huh? Uh, Veronica ends up being um, uh, like a side side story kind of deal. Um, well, maybe not a side story. I, I don't know if that actually. I don't know like, if she ends up being a quest or not, but um, <clears throat> later on she'll appear, and uh, you'll be able to steal. I think it's the battle tested shield from her. So, kind of looking forward to that. Wouldn't be uh, wouldn't be bad getting a second one. Is this right? Yeah. Okay. We do have to go into here. I don't think I've been in Dragon Ridge before. I think I poked my head in here once and then I just didn't continue on. My turn. So yeah, it looks like there's going to be some... Maybe next time. Bring it on. Man, I really need to put one step ahead back on. Thank you, Patricia. It's my turn now. <laughs> Thank you. Cleansing leaf. Oh, let's see. Skills. That's why. Probably don't really need hard work on it. All right. Let the experiment begin. Now then. Rise, spirit. You're finished. Study harder. There's a chest like right away, but was this it? And this, I mean, this looks like this is the end already, right? Because otherwise, why would there be a treasure chest here? Uh, let's. Let's go back. I don't want to run all the way back. <laughs> I'm that lazy. Hello. Yeah, there was. Hey, is it right hey, there? Hey. Is that right? Thinking time. Rise, fierce. You're finished. Study harder. Yep, that's it right there. Okay. Wind Whisperer. Is that a dagger? There it is. Raises potency of wind-based attacks. I should probably equip that on her. <laughs> wow, what a garbage dagger. Man, I've had that on for way too long. What was the name of that? Wind, wind Whisperer? Yeah, there we go. Animation. What am I doing? I don't have her equipped with anything? What's her, uh, what's her secondary? Oh, I have her as Thief. I must have just not, you know, put any thought into this. Um, what I really need, though, is... Is it a bow, or... I know I've either got a bow or a spear that increases wind. Dark. 
Yeah, um, let's change her job. Let's see. Yeah, let's try merchant. Um, boom, boom, spear of strength, tornado glaive, there it is, raises potency of wind based attacks. How about the bow? Potency of wind based attacks, there it is. Alright, well. Well, she's all tricked out with wind-based gear now. May I have this chance? Hmm. Look at her, <laughs> Look at her cute little hat. Uh, Rise, fierce. I've seen worse methods. <clears throat> I'll do what I must. I mean, that. not great, but not terrible either, I guess. I mean, she's probably not it's probably not fair to expect she's going to be pumping out damage like Oswald is. Found you. Well, well, if it isn't the little dancer from before. Have you come for an autograph? You must be quite the fan to come all the way out here just to see me. I'm not here for an autograph. Far from it. I came here to stop you from destroying that town. Unfortunately for you, I have big plans for this place. It is to become Dulcinea Land. D Dulcinea Land? It has quite the nice ring to it, no? It will be a shining paradise built in honor of the realm's finest superstar. I'm giving these people something they can be proud of. They should be thanking me. But isn't this your hometown? <sighs> your jokes bore me, little girl. Dulcinea? <sighs> this is no home of mine. My very first memory is of sand, everywhere I looked. I can't even remember my parents' faces. I was abandoned here. Life was miserable. Dressed in flea-ridden rags, scavenging for food. But one day, an opportunity presented itself. A dazzling light descended upon this gloomy, destitute town. Everyone's eyes were upon her brilliant figure as she danced. She was a star. That's when I decided to prove myself to the world. After some time, I became a dancer and found myself in front of a grand stage during my travels. I wish to dance upon it. So I worked harder than anyone. Until I outshone them all. 
and I scaled the dazzling stairs to success. Do you see now? I am without a doubt the realm's finest superstar. I trained every day of my life so that my glow would never die. How could the world's most beautiful, shining star come from this depressing slum? It's simply not possible. Which is why I say this is no home of mine. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter where you come from. A true star would never cause others pain. A true star is... That's quite enough. Now, would you get out of my way? This area needs to be cleared. And once it's gone, all memory of it shall follow. I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> you stubborn little girl. You should know that such obstinance will only get you hurt. Veronica, get rid of her. You can try, but I won't let you lay a finger on this town. Wait for me, Lila. Now then. <laughs> okay. Fighting her bodyguard? Is that what's going on? Yeah, Veronica. All right. Uh, let's just... I'll tell you this is gold. Yeah, all right. Now so it looks begins. like she's got a lot of elemental stuff. Not that it probably Allow matters. Now. Nice one, Hikari. Yeah, no doubt. We really stacked up that poison too. Don't Let's do it. Mind your envy. Sorry about that. All right. She's got. Kind of, she looks kind of badass. She's got her fist wrapped up there. Ah, uh, let's. I still have much to learn. Hmm. <sighs> I failed. You wish to give her a moment in the spotlight, I see. You are too kind. Take a moment to catch your breath, Veronica. I must confess, you put on quite the show. There is something special about you, Agnea. Something rare that not all dancers have. You have a glow about you. Dulcinea, stars are meant to... Put smiles on people's faces, yes? What nonsense. 
I danced to prove myself to the world, to gain the people's recognition. I thought only of my own happiness. <sighs> you're Kwani's daughter, aren't you? I suppose you're faithfully following her teachings, then. I am. <laughs> you're such a fool. Though I cannot deny even the smallest bit of interest in you. Is this an invitation? The Festival of Greece? It's the main event of the Grand Gala. Very few dancers have the privilege of performing in it. We can settle this there. The crowd will decide which of us is the true star. That's fine with me. <laughs> I look forward to it already. Until then, I leave this little heap of huts in your hands. We're leaving, Veronica. Tonight's show was brought to you by me, Dulcinea Lucille. I shall await you on the stage. <laughs> Dulcinea's gone. I can't thank you enough, miss. I'm just glad everyone's all right. Oh no! Look! Mother's statue. It's in pieces. Hope. <laughs> Lila. What's wrong with all of you? Don't you get tired of being gloomy all the time? What are you talking about, Lila? If you're looking for hope, it's right here. I... I'll be your new hope. Lila. Lila. She's dancing. I can't believe it. Ouch! Lila! Whoa!
Thank you, Agnia. You helped me discover something important. Were you able to find something too? I was. I found... Alright, let's see here. Inside I found... <sighs> the power of determination? That seems okay. Really? <laughs> I'm glad it wasn't just me then. When I dance, my heart feels warm. All the bad thoughts in my head disappear. And I'm filled with happiness. <sighs> Those are beautiful words, Lila. <laughs> From now on, I'm going to share this happiness with the whole town. Thank you, Lila. Again? What are you thanking me for? <sighs> I should get going. Agnea! Let's meet again someday. That's a promise, Agnia. See you soon. Okay, in the town of Sai, Agnea uncovers the memories of her uh, the, the memories her mother left behind. A superstar despairs over her past, while a young girl hopes for the future. A traveling dancer keeps their stories close to her heart as she makes her way to the Grand Gala. All right, there it is, Agnea the Dancer, Chapter Four, at an end. <laughs> so one left, I assume. Um, I think. Yeah, I think Agnez is just five, so. Um, anyways, that's going to be it for this one. So, as always, hope the guide was helpful, and thanks for watching.